Welcome to Physics Corner, Motion Part 2 for Secondary School Physics and the topics to be covered are Uniform Motion, Graphical Analysis of Motion and in particular we discuss about Distance Time Graphs. Starting with the phenomenon of Uniform Motion, it's very simple. Uniform means constant. A body is said to be under uniform motion if it travels at constant speed. If a car travels at constant speed, then we can say that the car is under uniform motion. If the body is not maintaining constant speed throughout its journey, then we can say that the, that the vehicle is under non-uniform motion. Moving to graphical analysis, we analyze the graphs of various parameters of motion, in particular distance time graph, velocity time graph and acceleration time graph. Starting with distance time graph, in a Cartesian plane, time is taken on x-axis that is horizontal axis and distance is taken on y-axis that is vertical axis. Starting with the first case of distance time graph, let's start analyzing these two horizontal straight lines. If you observe, both the lines are flat and if you analyze, the distance covered by these, by these bodies does not change with time. It's a flat line, which means even if you wait for one hour, there is no change in the distance covered by the body which means the body is absolutely at rest or the body is not moving at all. So the body is at rest or not moving at all for this first case. Let's move on to second case where the graph is a straight line. One of them is passing through origin. Though both the graphs show the similar properties, let's analyze the first graph in this. It's a straight line which means there is a direct relationship between distance and time. Initially, at time t is equal to 0, the body is at origin, the car is at origin, as, that as time progresses, the car covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, which means the car is increasing distance at a constant rate, which means distance traveled by time is constant. Hence, we can say that the body is traveling at uniform speed and the body is under uniform motion. Hence, if distance time graph is a straight line like this, we can say that the body is under uniform motion. Let's have a look at the third case in which to some extent the body has got a straight line in the sense the distance time graph is a straight line after which if you observe in a very short interval of time the body has covered a huge amount of distance at a certain which means there is a change in the speed of the body from here to here which means the speed increased because in a very short interval of time the body has covered a huge amount of distance compared to the earlier case where the body is taking some time to cover some amount of distance whereas here the body has covered a lot of distance in a very short interval of time. Hence, in this case, the body is increasing its speed. So it's an increasing speed case. Let's have a look at the final case in which the body initially travels at uniform speed that is, came, that is known by the straight line. And then later on, if you observe the body, the body is decreasing its speed. Why did I say it's decreasing its speed? If you observe, the body took a lot of time to cover a very short distance the body the body did not cover much distance the car did not cover much distance but took a lot of time and that too the distance covered by it is decreasing hence we can say that the body is decreasing its speed so the fourth case is decreasing speed case hence the first case where the body is at rest and this is the second case where the body is under uniform motion, a third case where the body is increasing its speed and the fourth case where the body is decreasing its speed. It's a very important phenomenon called slope and for a distance type gra time graph, slope gives you a very important parameter. How to find the slope and what is this slope exactly? Slope is a ratio. Ratio of 
change in change in y coordinates to the change in x coordinates here the y coordinates is distance and the x coordinate is time so what is the change in distance in a certain amount of time to do that we need to take two lines one is horizontal and one is vertical and we have considered a body under uniform motion the distance time graph shows a straight line and the body is under uniform motion and to find the slope of the slope of the graph we have to take a horizontal line to find the time taken and a vertical line to find the distance covered assuming the distance covered to be delta s and the time taken to cover this much amount of distance is delta t the ratio gives you delta s by delta t which is distance by time distance by time is nothing but speed which means the slope of distance time graph gives speed which is a very important concept let us try to find an answer for the following example consider two bodies car a and car b which are moving at constant speed but at different speeds our task is to find which one of these are moving at higher speed and which one is moving at slower rate to do that we have to use the concept of speed which is given by the slope of the graph distance by time so let's take a vertical line for both the graphs which shows that the time taken by the graphs is by time taken by the vehicles is fixed now let us see what is the distance traveled by each vehicle in this amount of time since we have fixed the time let us analyze the distance covered by car a and car b in the same amount of time to know the distance covered by car b in this amount of time we have to take a horizontal line which shows let us say it's 10 meters in the time t seconds and for car b it's it should be less than 10 obviously so let's take it as 5 meters in the time t seconds if you observe in the same amount of time car a covers 5 meters and car b covers 10 meters which reflects directly that car b is at higher speed than car a and this is how we have to find which object is moving faster from distance time graph that's it in this tutorial in the next tutorial motion part 3 we are going to cover velocity time graphs